Anna Maria Diamonin, you're a member of the EESC based in Malta. Would you talk me through a little of your role and what that what that means? Right. The ESC is a bridge between Europe, the EU and civil society. So our role is really to represent civil society. So in my case, I am meant to be representing workers' rights in Malta at a European level. And also, obviously, being able to communicate to the citizen in general what's going on in Europe. Okay. Now, in terms of what's happening in Malta for social exclusion, do you have any examples, things that are going on that you could explain? I, I think one of the main evidences of social exclusion in Malta is the fact that you have categories of people who um, are not taking up information technology, so people who do not have uh, quick access to internet, despite internet is available all across the island, and therefore they cannot avail of specific services. So for example, in Malta we have a very advanced e-government, whereby most of governmental services are available online. So you have category of people, um, and unfortunately these are usually the most vulnerable groups who cannot access uh, these services. You get older people who uh, do not want or find it difficult to make use of information technology. You have the unemployed um, who unfortunately get even more excluded because of the fact that they do not make use of um, information technology. You also have um, a category of people who um, unfortunately do not take up uh, lifelong learning and so in the advancements of work decrease their employability and, and therefore exclude themselves even more from society despite the fact that I would say Malta has a very good social model. However, um, even in such a small community we do have these effects of social exclusion. Now you're mentioning uh, ICT and information technology. Do you feel that, and obviously this, uh, this particular conference relates to the role of education in social exclusion, do you think there's a real role to be played by greater access to these tools in helping education levels? Definitely, education is um, the key to many things, including this aspect of information technology. So what, what you see is even the fact that you have younger people, children, um, learning about IT, having access to IT at school, this helps them bring home even to their parents and to their grandparents the concepts of information technology. However, it's very important to have specific programs even for older people. So programs um, which are at regional, uh, on a regional basis for older people to be able to learn how to make use of these tools. Anna-Maria, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.